Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and at the end also into the traditional markets uh, where we closed uh, yesterday on Friday. And uh, of course, also another big reminder of this uh, Bitscap trading bot and arbitrage feature that we have because I have a new collaboration with Bitscap. If you want to try out their trading bot and also do arbitrage for 14 days completely for free, then make sure to use the link that you find in the video description because like that, you will get completely for free this 14 days plan where you can take full advantage of this trading bot and do arbitrage by just connecting your existing exchanges to this platform. So yesterday I uploaded a video tutorial. Make sure that you have watched it. It's also popping up at the end of this video. If you're interested in doing arbitrage or do some passive money with those trading bots without trading yourself, then definitely watch the whole video because I explain you exactly how to set up the trading bot and also how to use this platform. And in yesterday's video, we also did a demonstration trade. We bought some Ethereum Classic and as you can see this bot now is running 21 hours and not only we have already made 17% because we bought Ethereum Classic before the pump yesterday but also because the trading bot did 4.45% in gains without doing anything so the bot is very efficient and if you want to know how to set it up perfectly then make sure that you watch the video tutorial that is also popping up at the end of this video if you want to try out this trading bot next to your own trading of course. So now let's start into the content my friends because I am still in my long position and I still think that we're gonna head towards new levels here for Bitcoin in the not so distant future but of course there are also some warning signs that are looming here in the daily time frame but now first here the lower time frames like the four hour you can see that we are forming this potential bull flag here so this pattern is actually a bullish pattern but as long as we are not seeing a breakout above the resistance Resistance, which currently is here at around $62,700. We are still trapped in this pattern and it's not valid until we're gonna see here a confirmed breakout. So we still could come back down here to retest the support at around 59K. This is what I think could happen here during the weekend because as you know, weekend is a play time. But if this is going to end up in a bull flag, the target is quite interesting, my friends. So let's do a measurement here from this potential breakout target from this bull flag. So let's assume that we're gonna have another leg down towards 59K and afterwards we're gonna have the push to also break out through this bull flag here to the upside. This will take us more or less at around 68 to 69K where also right now this logarithmic growth curve is lining up and this is the logarithmic growth curve where we also topped out in 2013 with our first local top before we started the major correction and then we had the next parabolic move towards this red zone that currently is up here with the top of around $106,000. So if we would repeat something similar like in 2013 where we topped out at this logarithmic growth curve which currently is here at $68,000 then we may be gonna see a major correction after topping out and touching here this 68k area. Only if we are able to go above this logarithmic growth line, then I think this potential scenario is denied and we will go towards this red zone, which is starting here at around 80k and the top currently is at around 105k before maybe we could see any kind of correction. But I found it quite interesting that right now we are approaching the same logarithmic line like we had in 2013. And also there are some warning signs, especially in the daily time frame, that we maybe could see a correction very soon before we head towards completely new levels. Because keep in mind that Bitcoin for the long term will go way above 100k. But I think if right now we're gonna see an explosive move towards 68k, maybe even up here into this red zone, we 
could face a little correction and maybe see a little bear market for the next coming months especially during the summertime before towards autumn winter then we gear up to new levels way above 100k because i still think that we're gonna reach the absolute cycle top for this bull market not yet in april or may but most likely more towards the end of the year but of course april and may are bullish months and that's why i think during these two months there is a very high chance that we could reach this 100k if we are not topping out here at this important logarithmic growth curve at 68k before reaching this red zone from our logarithmic growth chart so the four hour time frame currently is getting rejected by the 20 moving average and also from this resistance that is coming down here but as soon as we're gonna have here a breakout to the upside we could see here this move towards 68k and keep in mind that wherever we are going during the weekend most of the times we are retracing back down where we closed the CMEs on Friday and we closed the CMEs at 62k and also keep in mind that we have several CME gaps below of us. The first one is down here towards 59k and we have several other ones below of us as well. For example, also this one at 54k. So in my opinion, there is still a very high chance that sooner or later we are going to close those gaps. But the question, of course, is when and what kind of top that we're going to see here. Because I still think that during this bull cycle, we're going to see two tops. One maybe right now between 70 to 100k and another one way above 100k. And if our local top for now is going to happen somewhere here between 70 to 100k and then start a huge correction to also close all the CME gaps that we have below of us, then I think this theory is quite legit and after the next bigger washout and correction, we could then gear up for our real big parabolic move, which will take us way above 100k. Because the problem right now is that we have all the CME gaps below our main support which currently is here at around 58k and if we would lose the support here of 58k we would go at least down here towards the 44k area where not only the 20 weekly moving average is lining up but this is also where we started this ascending triangle and if we are seeing a breakout here to the downside and lose this imported support the target would be also here at around 44k and like this also close all the cme gaps that we have below of us so there are some warning signs that we could see such a correction if we're gonna top out somewhere up here especially if here we are getting a fast move towards 68k and exactly reach the same logarithmic growth curve like we also did in 2013 and maybe have at the same place a local top and then afterwards a major correction before we then go again completely parabolic. So this scenario would be the one that would exactly copy what we did also in 2013. Of course, history never repeats, but often it rhymes. So based here in the four hour time frame, I think we could reach the 68K maybe also during this weekend. And then of course, we're gonna need to see what will happen up here. But the measurement target of this potential bull flag that we have here would bring us towards 68K. And now let's switch over into the daily time frame because here I want to show you that we have a confirmed sell signal. Usually those sell signals during an uptrend just means that we will most likely come down to test important moving averages like the 9 daily or 20 daily moving average. So where we are right now here at 61k or the 20 daily moving average here at $59,000. So only because we got right now a sell signal, it doesn't mean that we have to crash down below 58K, but just keep in mind that we have right now this sell signal flashing. And if we would start to lose here the nine and 20 daily moving average as a support, the chances are higher that we also gonna lose the main support. And then of course see this major correction down towards 44K. But that of course wouldn't mean that this is the end of the bull market. That only means that we may be gonna see here first a little washout, a bigger correction down towards 44K before then we again consolidate and move towards new levels. But as long as we're trading above the nine and 20 daily moving average and especially above 58K, we should be still leaning more to the bullish side and see continuation here to the upside. I just see a little bit of danger here at this logarithmic growth curve here at 68K. And then of course in this red zone up here between 80 to 100K 
which could of course lead into a local top if here we are getting rejected somewhere in this red zone because although in the past this red zone always signaled a cycle top and Bitcoin afterwards always started a bear market. So let's hope that this time we are able to overshoot these logarithmic growth curves. But I think in this red zone here between 80 to 100k we will face some resistance. And I also think that a lot of people will start to take a little bit of profits out up here. And then of course we're gonna see what will happen. But overall, I think for the long term, especially towards the end of the year, we will go to way higher levels than 100k. And of course, also until then, these logarithmic growth curves will also be in way higher levels. So they are also rising up day by day. And that's why I think if we are reaching right now 100k, we are maybe a bit too early. But I think it's very realistic that until the end of this year, these logarithmic growth curves will be probably between 100 to 300 thousand dollars. And then of course everything is looking again way more different. But this is all what we're gonna have to check once we are reaching these levels up here. For now we are still in this potential ascending triangle and I think a breakout to the upside towards those levels is still very likely. And I think it's just a matter of time until here we're gonna see big pumps here towards our bullish targets. I'm very bullish for this coming week and also for the whole month of April and May. So now that we have covered Bitcoin, let's go also over to Ethereum because also Ethereum right now is fighting again with this resistance up here $2,500. Also here we are getting a sell signal which could indicate that maybe we are coming down to test the 9 daily moving average here at $2,300. Maybe even come down here to test $2,140 and then gear up for another big attempt to break this $2,500. Because if we are able to consolidate above this resistance, the next target based on the Fibonacci extensions would be up here at around three thousand three hundred dollars so I'm also still very bullish for Ethereum especially because the Bitcoin dominance currently is still falling and if we're gonna lose here this 52% where currently we are getting a little bounce we could easily continue towards 50% and that of course is very much in favor for the altcoins especially for Ethereum in my opinion and that's why I think on Ethereum we're gonna see big fireworks here towards completely new levels and it doesn't mean that we have to stop here at $3,300 that is just my next potential target where we maybe could face a little bit of resistance if here we're gonna see follow through towards this target so I'm also very bullish for Ethereum my friends and I think in the next couple Coming weeks and months we also gonna see a lot of altcoins going completely parabolic similar like we have seen yesterday with Dogecoin today we are seeing a little correction of course but that is normal after going up like more than 100% within only one day and now let's have a look where the DXY closed on Friday because right now we are still falling and as you can see yesterday we went below the 50 daily moving average. So if we're gonna continue to fall next week the next potential support would be down here at the 100 daily moving average at $91. I think here we're most likely gonna see a bounce because this important moving average in the past acted always as a resistance whenever the DXY tried to push higher. So right now it could be acting as a strong resistance right now, but if we're gonna lose here this $91, then in my opinion, we will go straight down towards this support at around $90. And if here we're not gonna see a bounce in the DXY, we will fall way below $89. And that of course would be a catastrophe for the US dollar index, but of course very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. And that's why there we could see big pumps incoming if this is going to happen. But I still think that here we're gonna see a bounce at $91. We are looking quite oversold here. And as soon as we're getting a buy signal, I think we're gonna see here another reversal. And then of course, we're gonna need to see what will happen. Because if here we're starting to create higher highs and higher lows, that of course is bearish for the crypto and stock market. And that indicates that we are back in an uptrend here for the DXY. And that of course would be bearish for the crypto and stock market. And speaking about stock market, Nasdaq right now is creating new all time highs, my friends, and that is very much in favor for the crypto market. So if Nasdaq is able to push higher here towards our target of around $15,000, then I think also in the Bitcoin price, we're gonna see follow through towards our bullish targets between 80 to 100K because Nasdaq is looking extremely bullish here. And even though we got here a 
sell signal. We got supported by the nine daily moving average. And this is also what we want to see for the Bitcoin and Ethereum price that we are not falling below the nine and 20 daily moving average because that would signal that we are very strong and the bulls are here and ready to push higher towards new levels. And I think also here in Nasdaq, we're going to see very bullish weeks ahead of us. So I'm still very bullish over all the assets, my friends, and that's why I'm still keeping up with my long position and I also going to increase it on the way to the downside if we are coming down to 59 to 58k because I'm still more leaning to the bullish side for these next coming weeks. And wherever we are going, make sure that you're able to trade this over on Bybit or Femex because when we have huge volatility in the market, this is the time when you can do the most gains by longing and shorting the market. So if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex where you can trade Bitcoin and Ethereum up to 100x leverage, then make sure to use my referral links that you find down below here in the video description because with my links, you will get some extra bonus if you sign up with my invitation links and of course also try out Prime XPT where we have this unique co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other successful traders also without doing anything. And if you contact me over on Discord in our Discord trading chat, I am giving away $50 for Prime XPT. So if you want to get it, then make sure to contact me and sign up with my referral link that you also find in the description. And for everyone that is not yet in our great crypto trading chat, make sure to join it by clicking this invitation link that you also find in the description. Once you have clicked it, you just have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to this indicator. Otherwise, you can also just get a normal YouTube membership. Like this, you also get access to the live stream indicator on Discord. And don't forget to claim your free 14 days trial for the pro plan over on Bitscap with their very efficient trading bots. And also where you can do easily arbitrage by just connecting your exchanges. For example, you can connect KuCoin, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken and so on. You have then one platform where you can use the trading bots on your exchange and also do arbitrage where you can buy in at those cheaper exchanges and sell wherever the price is higher on the specific exchange. So the more exchanges you're using, the more efficient you can do arbitrage. So definitely check it out, my friends. So far, I'm loving this Bitscap. They have a very great and easy platform that is very useful also for beginners. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.